Amir Khan's arena, uh, the rink that, you know, my forefathers that played Division One hockey, they only played the McKinnons and the Childs and the Castles helped us build. And me and my friends that grew up here and grew up under the stands at Goderson got to help build these rinks and now they have national champions and they have division one hockey players all because my friends and I's dads took the time to coach us after work. Not a lot of us went on to play pro. I think a kid named Peter Lennis, who was somewhere trying to beat me in a one-on-one in his dreams, uh, went on to play in Europe. But other than that, a lot of us just had a lot of fun around here. And some of us got to play for UVM and some of us didn't. But I'm going to be doing uh, an MMA practice. There's some uh, heavyweight up here that wants to like call me in the middle of the night and take off his shirt for me when his girlfriend's not around. But So I'll do MMA practice at some point today. I'm up here doing some criminal justice reform stuff and talking about firearm safety as I thank people for their service. So this is pretty cool, man. I think there's some old fellas down here that think they can skate with their champ. (laughs) I got some boner pills for them. (laughs) So they increase their testosterone. Watch out, though. I think it's going to be like a Playboy model or something that that takes the pharmaceutical business out of it. All crap talking aside, uh, it means a lot to me to be back here. I mean, I grew up learning how to skate in, 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 uh, in Burlington, and they built this rink for me and my generation shortly after. It's the same my girls play here, so um, I'm pretty thrilled just to be sitting here. I'm going to go see if they have a skate card. I might come up here and skate later, but I'm going to do some MMA practice and work on my ground game. But all about my first KO. You know, I'm going to be Walter by Shepi. I don't want to see our sport, you know, for firearm safety or for anything else, you know, strap towards only submission holes because we're worried about head trauma because we don't know how to adjust our Bauer 5000s or hip properly. I just don't want to see our sport turn into a submission game uh, where there's not a good, good, good KOs. I've got a fear 
holding my blood. And she was carried up into the clouds high above. Less is more.
held on as tightly as you held on me. Held on as tightly as you held on me. I've been trained for like almost two years to win a welterweight title here and I don't know if I'm going to make good on my promise on winning a welterweight title in Vermont. I'm thinking my time in Vermont is nearing an end and I might leave in six or so months once I'm done my advocacy efforts up here and the current BS that I'm dealing with the state government and I might try to go to, to Florida, California or, or, or Southern New Mexico or something to run a drug treatment court uh, with the federal government down there. Um... I've been training for about a year and a half or two though. And my friend is a four-time amateur Golden Glove heavyweight champion in Burlington. Um, he's like 35 and five and something crazy like that. And I won six state hockey championships in a row. And every time I was ever in except for regionals when I placed in fourth because I didn't work hard so I can bring him a national title. Um, but we are getting ready to do some kind of sparring match to train each other because we both want to get a professional fighter win a title or something. And we're thinking the best thing is to help each other get into another sport. For me it's MMA um, from hockey and for him it's MMA I think from boxing. Um, so I'm going to be able to put on you know, some type of show with him in a little bit but you know, he's helped kind of the riff fast stay away from me while i chain. I think I've helped him stay around the shop a little bit. Uh, I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to doing this.